Hello everyone, this is Manikandan here. Today we are going to learn how to make a easy checkmate and how to win against your opponent very easily. There is something called as weak square. Weak square means the square which is supported only by the king. At the starting of the game, this is the weak square for white because this pawn is supported by the white rook and this pawn is supported by the bishop and this pawn is only supported by the king. So the square which is supported only by the king is called as weak square. For black this is the weak square because it is supported only by the king. Now let's see how to make use of the weak square. If you are playing for white you can move the pawn and we have to move the pieces towards the weak square. Example, we can move the bishop to c4 to take aim at the weak square and then let's say black moves the knight to c6. Now we have to move the queen to take aim at the weak square. We can do that by going to f3 or even to h5. Now this is the critical moment. What would you play as black here? Think for black and come up with a move. If you chose something like normal move d6, this could be a blunder. Blunder means a big mistake. Now white is already winning. He has a move which is a checkmate. So now think for white. How can you checkmate this black king in one move? The answer is we can move the queen to f7. Checkmate already. Because the king cannot capture us, we have a support from the bishop and also king cannot escape anywhere. So we should capture this pawn with our queen but not with the bishop. This could be a good move because they cannot capture us but they can escape this time. They can go king to e7 and escape from this check. So this will not be a checkmate. So we should move the queen. That would be the best move. This checkmate is also called as 4 move checkmate because generally it happens in just 4 moves that much quick. So let me go again. So this is the weak square for opponent. So we should target that weak square with the queen and also with a piece like bishop. And if you are doing that you can win the game very quickly. But black can try to stop this very easily. Now try to find some defense for black. How can you stop this checkmate? Maybe I can flip the board. Yeah. Now if your opponent threatens checkmate on f7. Now how should black stop this checkmate? He has different ways. Maybe we can move the queen to f6 to add more support to this pawn. So that they cannot make a checkmate. Now white should not capture this pawn. If they capture, we can simply capture it. And if they capture, again we can capture it. Now black will be having lot of pieces so he can win the game easily. So this is one of the way to stop the checkmate. Or you can also go queen to e7 to protect the pawn. Or sometimes we can also block this check, checkmate and then we can escape. They cannot make a checkmate right now. Maybe if we do this they will go here again they will plan for a checkmate. So now how to avoid this checkmate again if black is not so careful he might play something like d6. Now again white can win the game in a kind of 4 move checkmate on the weak square. So black should be careful and he should play something like knight to f6 to block the attack. And they cannot capture this knight because we have a support. So this is how black should defend the checkmate. So you can try this as white against your opponent. If your opponent is not aware of this checkmate, they might play some normal move like maybe knight to f6 which is a very natural move trying to attack the queen and capture it. But again this would be a blunder because we know this one checkmate on f7. Okay now let's go to the next trap which is almost similar to the same thing. Here white will not start with bishop c4 instead white will go queen to h5 first. Now it is black to play. Here most of the opponent 
might be tempted to attack the queen by moving the pawn and attacking the queen. But this could be a blunder because white already has a good move. Could you spot the good move for white? You can also pause the video and think for a good move for white. There is a double attack which white can make. Yes, if you have found this one, that is correct. Queen can take the pawn on e5 and attack the king and also the rook at the same time. So that would be a double attack. They have to block the check, then we can take this rook. Maybe if possible, we will try to capture the knight and then pawn and we can continue the attack. So white will be winning after this. So after queen to h5, White's real plan is to capture this pawn. So the correct defense for black would be knight to c6 to defend this pawn. And now white can go bishop to c4. Again planning for the checkmate on the weak square that is on f7. Again black should be really careful and then they should play something like queen to f6 so that they can stop the checkmate. And then both of the players have a good game. Maybe white can continue with knight c3 and then knight to d5 trying to chase the queen away and the game will continue. So at the starting of the game remember f2 and f7 are the weak squares. You should try to attack your opponent weak square and also you should protect your weak square carefully otherwise your opponent can make a checkmate. And one final puzzle that is starting with f4. As I said, this is a weak pawn for white. We should never move this weak pawn because if you move the weak pawn, we, we are creating some weakness which, will, which we will see now. Now say black goes here. Now white plays another bad move that is pawn to g4. Now black can already make a checkmate to the white king. Could you believe it? Just try to find black to play how to checkmate this white king. Maybe I can flip the board. Here we go. We are playing for black and we have to checkmate this white king in one move. The answer is queen to h4. So we have the opponent have moved the pawn. So which created a weak diagonal here. So black can make use of it and make a checkmate because they cannot capture our queen and they cannot block the check. And also they cannot move the king to escape. So this is already a checkmate. This is the fastest checkmate in chess which is also called as fool's mate just in two moves. So these two moves could be the worst moves at the starting of the game. So remember this and don't move the f pawn at the starting of the game. If your opponent moves the f pawn just get ready with like pawn to e6 so that you can move the queen to h4 at the right moment. If your opponent goes for another bad move like pawn to g4, we can immediately make a checkmate and win the game. I hope you learned these tricks and I hope it will be helpful. That's all for today. See you in the next class. Bye.